Hello and welcome everybody and thank you guys for joining me again. My name is Wilkie and I'm here with a new world guide. Today we're going to take a look at the expedition called the Depths, which is typically the third expedition that you will be doing on your journey in your world. This is a main story dungeon, so pretty much everybody has to do it at some point sooner or later. As far as I'm concerned, this is a level 40 plus dungeon, so the level 40 bracket is the earliest that you could enter. Needless to say, you can also do it at a higher level, which is something that you'll be seeing in the front. I'll be going over this is I'll be showing a few key mechanics that you have to be aware of. It's not too complex and I'll cover the two boss fights because they do have a little bit more of a mechanic than the prior boss fights to that. So let's dive right into that. The first mechanic if you will is very common in throughout this game. There are two levers or switches that you need to press in order to activate or allow people to get uh, through the door here and that is pretty much it you go down there you kill the few mobs and then you rotate back upwards at which point you'll be expecting or you'll be seeing a new mechanic that hasn't occurred in any of the dungeons before so far once you rotate back upwards basically to the main entry you have the statue in the center where you need three people using their azoth staffs to actually trigger the next mechanic it's also written there in the quest line so it's not really a secret but that's different from the prior dungeons where pretty much only one person had to do something now you actually need three people and as you can see once you actually have the three people doing or charging their azoth staff you will see that the circle starts to begin going down and that allows you to progress through the dungeon and this is something that you'll also be fighting or finding later on in the dungeon as well. The rest of the dungeon is fairly straightforward however it's a little bit more maze-like than prior dungeons. Like I said there are more mechanics such as for example a teleportation spot as you've seen here. So if you're not fully aware of how this dungeon works just rotate around there's usually only one way you can go and if you end up in a blocked road or somewhere locked up just rotate backwards see if there's any portals or anything else. We're also coming up to the first uh, or another mechanic is where you need to charge the this kind of uh, mechana what it's called and you can see that there's like a little axe on the ground and that you see these rune stones I like to call them charging up over time and for that to happen I don't really know if everybody in the group needs to stay in the center I would just highly survive uh, survive highly advise go into the center stay in a center have your heal or just plaster heals and everything on top of you your ranged DPSs just shoot at the most annoying mobs and just try to stay inside of the circle as you can see we're like halfway done and that's really all you gotta do you just gotta survive the little onslaught it's not too much of a crazy thing and you can see that the lights keep on charging there's three left to do and that is all that you need to do in this mechanic after some more walking more teleportation and more mob killing you're finally gonna face the first boss in this dungeon and there isn't really a whole lot other than one specific mechanic outside of that he spawns those two little doggos that you should be disposing of fairly quickly they die relatively easy but they are pain in the ass with their knockbacks and pushbacks and all that stuff. Outside of that there's not too much to be involved in this fight. Keep in mind that we have a level 60 DPS in this run so our damage is most likely going to be much higher than yours if you do this the first time so just keep that in mind. But outside of that there is like I said one specific mechanic that starts about now. I think there's two thresholds as far as I understand. There are two forms or two ways of this. I'm going to pause the video here. You can see that there are like portals at the far end of the room. So for example, I'm writing this message here to tell my people to go. So you can see that there is a circle and we're just going to go over that. What you have to do is kill the mobs here and then a corrupted carapace where the little orb will spawn. And you have to destroy, or rather Azoth staff it, in order for the boss to be able to take damage again. And this is really all you need to do. There's only three people that can go on each platform. So as you can see, we killed the mobs here, and now you use your Azoth staff. Meanwhile, so during, during the phase where two or three people of your party go into the platform, the center two people that are left the boss will spawn corrupted mines and you want to try and destroy those mines because those mines will keep on dealing damage to you and depending on how good your heals are what your heal setup is it's a little bit tricky to heal during that phase but what i personally would do is 
Typically, I try to stay in the center as a healer because that makes it much easier for me to throw heals left and right, back and forth. But, um, like I said, this party, we, we had so much DPS that it wasn't really a big deal. And you can see that we're slowly going to get closer to the second world mechanic. This time, both of the platforms are actually active. See, there's these mines. There's, there's one of the mines that I talked about. So I highly suggest set the party and... Preferably three people go into the platform, like I said, I think it's best to s keep the healer in the center. But if you have the DPS like we have in this room, like I try to heal the center, you can see that the circle actually shows up, but it doesn't really go through. So healing the center portion is a bit annoying, but uh, it still works if you're setting that up. And as you can see, we're done here with the first one. The corruption tick actually prevented the Azoth. Now we're done with the first little spire that we disrupted, destroyed. And now this party apparently didn't know that there's a second one spawning, so I'm the only one that's really going there. You can see that the portal is glowing. And now I'm I'm almost dying here, so like I said, this is definitely something. Set this up and explain to people what the mechanics are, because otherwise you're going to fail, because the mines deal quite a bit of damage. So it's really important to do this as quickly as possible to prevent or remove most of the errors that could happen in terms of... You could die, somebody could get knocked down, because if you lose somebody during these phases, it's incredibly annoying to get those people up. And like I said, I'm trying to heal here, but that's uh, that's pretty shit. And that is really all about the fight. Now you have the two teleportation phases over, and all you gotta do now is kill the boss, and we proceed to do so. After yet again some more walking and more killing, we're finally at uh, the boss, Captain Thorpe, which we've seen uh, quite a while ago when we started playing New World. This time though, he's actually pretty mad. There really isn't too much about this boss. I think he's mechanically actually easier uh, than, uh, than the first mini boss or the first boss in this dungeon. Classic, don't face tank everything you can because he does hurt quite a bit. He has a few called out moves. And similar to Starstone, it is a two-phase fight. So first phase is really just, uh, you know, if he starts swinging his sword, try not to stand up of it or have your tank turn him away. I mean, this is classic MMO mentality. Just uh, don't try to take more damage than you have to because the healer, in my, in this case, that's me. You know, there's only so much you can heal, especially if you don't use the single target heals. So try not to take as much damage. And once again, we have a level 60 DPS in this party, so you probably will take a bit longer than we do for this fight. Just in case you're uh, surprised by how quickly he melts. That is the main reason why. And there we go, that was phase 1, now there's phase 2. He has now different moves. The first thing is, whenever he does this call out, he's spawning two of those adds in the center. I highly recommend everybody go to the center, kill those adds as quickly as possible. This. They're going to be really annoying, so dispose of them as quickly as you can. And you're also seeing a second mechanic there, which I will explain later on in time. So once you dispose of that, he now has also this shockwave move, which he also calls out with a voice line. So he's a very... you can predict what he does. Outside of that, you can see that he actually hurts quite a bit. He just uh, mowed down our tank there. And a uh, short side note for healers, use Adapo. They really help. I thought of that, there's really not much. And uh, this is the other mechanic. He does shoot a laser, and you don't want to touch the laser. So all you're going to do is walk behind him. And like I said, the voice lines always call it out. There's always a call out for those moves for them to happen. So whenever he does voice line X, or whenever he says, like, time to taste corrupted seal, I think is what he says. You see that? So whenever he says that this will be the last time we meet, he's going to summon the two ads in the center. So that's your call. Go to the center. AoE what you can. Time to taste corrupted steel is the shockwave AoE. And I'm going to wait for the laser. Try not to overshadow the voice line. Yeah, prefer to have your soul crush. And now he's doing the laser in like a half circle in front of him. Just go behind him and hack away. It's actually a very good opening. And that is really it. 
those are all the moves, those are all the mechanics that you really have to worry about outside of the standard move set. And that is pretty much all you gotta do in order to clear the depths expedition. Corrupted steel, AoE, just get back, tank it or block it, whatever. Oh, I think he actually did a different move there, where he just one shot at one of our teammates again. But yeah, prefer to have this real crushed. Laser again. This was actually lucky. This could have uh, could have been an easy wipe there. And that is it. That is it for the depths. I do hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions, feel free to shoot me a message either on Discord, in the comment section below, or any other social media that you can find in the description below. I also stream typically only on Mondays. During this week, I will actually stream extra days in order to kind of showcase my progress through new world and this is the chest that you should always be taking last but not least i do hope this was helpful and i'll see you guys next time so do stay safe and take care